Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are back in Detroit, the uh, car tycoon classic of the 90s, 1993 to 1994. Uh, this was state of the art tycoon gameplay. By modern standards, it would hardly classify as more than a uh, little casual title on mobile platforms, probably. But uh, anyway, uh, it's still a lot of a uh, lot of fun and weird in places. But we shall uh, soldier through and see what comes out of it. So, uh, World War One is coming up soon. Of course, uh, the people living in these pixeled buildings don't really know that that is coming just yet. Uh, it will start in about two years' time. So, um, until then, I would think that we want to have some kind of let's say transport or utility vehicle and this type of body style uh, does allow for that so uh, that is something i'm looking into now um let's see if there is a market for them we're swinging swimming in money so we can just spend a little bit on designing something new and then just checking if there's a market well let's build one put up here in spot six uh, we shall change the type to van pickup truck maybe a pickup truck yeah uh, let's make a pickup truck oh this looks familiar oh fuck okay you have to actually change the the body style here it seems so pickup truck but that's that's not a pickup this is a pickup truck okay uh, and now we can go through here. Let's see if there are better fronts. We don't need anything fancy large. Oh, oh, this variety. It's killing me. Oh, my God. How am I ever supposed to choose anything? Do we want to get horribly wet when we are driving around goods? Or do we want to stay somewhat dry? Hmm. Such a tough choice for a uh, utility vehicle. I, I don't really know. Help me out here, guys. And a flat, bit, tiny, large. Why would you have a tiny one like this? If it's just poking out in the rear. It's not that bad, is it? Okay, let's let's go with the big one. Yes, and what, what kind of parts do we put on here? Do we use our four-cylinder? Our four-cylinder with... Uh, some some unknown capacity it's a mystery in line four uh, or maybe the big one yeah, let's use the big economical engine because it's amazing handbrake oh yes handbrake suspension we don't have a suspension cooling air cooled obviously and safety uh say sa yes bumper bumper yes use use all the bumpers everywhere put them on everywhere do we have luxury oh yes we did have a windshield so do, do we actually want to have a windshield in our cupola? That would be kind of useful, I would think. Uh, okay, a windshield is installed and now back to the body. So this is now proper luxury uh, pickup vehicle, I, I guess. Okay, uh, how do we... Oh, we have to make it now. Okay, we make it and this is the... The Mule Mark 1, yes, we uh, confirm here and shall test everything, everything, oh no, 2000, I wonder, was it like this that this money, amount of money never changed during the game? It's like $2000 also in uh, 2010 or something, I don't even know how long this game runs anymore. Um, but yeah, let's, let's run it, come on, oh the acceleration is through the roof, oh my god, 30 something. All my cars have the exact same top speed. Isn't that a realistic simulation? It's like you have this this sporty looking uh, sports carish thingy and then two people. Yes, okay. 615 cargo space. Oh, that's impressive. Um, yeah, and then you have the, on the other side this massive van or pickup truck and they have exactly the same top speed. Yeah, it's like, mm, okay, okay. That doesn't make all that much sense to me. Uh, aerodynamics? Maybe in Detroit they don't have air in the atmosphere. That could be it. Or they are just gearing. <laughs> they have fucked up the gearing, so they all use the same gearbox, which just goes... Uh, it's a single gear, which only goes to 22.28 miles per hour. Uh, okay. 
then uh, I think this is an amazing vehicle. Is there a market for it? We don't know. But we can make a little test if there is a market for it. Let's... Um, how do we go out of here? Like this. Let's go to the administration and select generate report demand demand report uh, new uh, for no you have to actually put produce it oh now that's not useful uh, exit we don't no we don't 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 want one okay like this and uh, maybe we should open up our a new factory in southwestern USA and just produce pickup trucks there and stuff. Uh, also, I should maybe make a, a van first. Yeah, let's design a, a van first. Maybe they love that too. Uh, got high ratings. Maybe it's a good idea to have this. It actually put it in slot number two, which was empty before. Ah, that may explain why I didn't see it before. Because I was looking at slot six or something. So let's go out of here and check demand here. That was a little derp. I wouldn't think that the game automatically does such things. Demand new. There, yeah, there's the mule. Use it. Yes, and we want to. Can can I select everything? To can I just select everything? That would be helpful. And it's, I mean, we don't really care. You're like Africa. Yes, we're going to sell to Africa. But um, nine thousand. <laughs> peanuts. Peanuts. Yes, I want to pay for the report and instantly. There we have it. One and two. Oh, massive market. Massive, massive market. I think we need to, to build this one on at least an eighth of a line in a level one factory. So, good to know. No one wants this piece of shit. Good. Um, even though it has super high ratings, like the magazines are full of praise and <laughs> then it's like, um, we, we don't actually want that. It's, it's basically like um, what you have in, in the games media sometimes, like the, the, the press, the games press uh, being all over, wanking over artsy, fancy games, uh, which are completely devoid of gameplay mechanics. And they all think it's the best game since uh, sliced bread. And then no one actually buys it or likes it. It's like, uh, fuck that. Artsy shit. We don't need that. Uh, we want a game to have gameplay okay let's try out our van then instead maybe that one will be better and also i shall re-review them as soon as world war one starts maybe then they will learn to love this car maybe it takes a war to oh i have a sinister plan hmm, let me let me just um uh, travel to europe very quick Oh yes, the variety is through the roof here as well. And they all look kind of derpy. Uh, but this is the derpiest design ever. Just imagine! <laughs> oh, if you travel in anything beyond 10 kilometers an hour, you will be... Maybe that's why they all thought, like, if you travel faster than 30 kilometers an hour, you will basically die. Uh, not from crashes, but rather because of the air pressure. Because they made a big funnel which goes into your face. And <laughs> yeah, it's just blowing without a windshield straight into your face. Oh, this is a terrible design, but it looks fun. Let's make a little bit more classic looking. Cla oh, this is, this is very classy. But then again, I like this one better. This looks really ancient and good. And for the mini transporter? No, this, this is too derpy. Uh, let's make it big. Yes, massive. Massive. Maybe they love this one. All right, we are all set up. It is categorized as a van. The best van ever built to this date, I guess. Um, because it's the first one. So now we have to make it. And it will be called... It's called the Whale. MK1, because it's very whaley. And... Mm, build car, yes. And now we need to test it. Let's see if this one is also just as powerful. Um, 60, 65. All right, maybe maybe change the design a, around a little bit. Um, how do I get back? Oh no, oh, come on. Um, so where, where's the whale? I need to change you. 
maybe people just don't like this kind of design. Uh, let's go with a small front and maybe this one and the rear. Let's make it small. I like the opposite of what we did before. And now uh, we shall make it again. Yes. Confirm, replace car, yes. And test everything again. Because so much has changed, really, I promise. This looks exactly the same to me. Cargo 100. Um, 50, oh, even worse. Okay. <laughs> Fuck that then. <laughs> it's not possible. I need more cargo space. Why did the pickup have su uh, such more, so much more cargo space? That was through the roof. So, no, whales are shit. Let's not build a whale. Um, let's delete it or something. Oh, first we check its market potential. <laughs> so maybe there's a market there for shitty cars. Uh, that wouldn't surprise me in this game uh, at all. So uh, let's see, uh, demand. Uh, new report, yes. And the whale! Use it. The shitty version of the whale. And let's only choose these because I can't be bothered clicking on everything. Um, yes, use those. And yes. Uh, report uh, one! Okay, so yes, we, we are definitely going with the uh, the other one just to pick up. Alright, um, how about a level one factory? And now <laughs> we shall build build the awesomest cars there um southwest you how do we change this one um um how do we change this up here is this previous next southeast southwest northeast ah ah i see okay so you can change it up here this is idle factory level none southeast Southwest. Where is it? Southwest. Factory. Okay, this works. So now we need to hire a few workers. Not many. We don't need many cars. Don't forget. Or otherwise, we could just overproduce for three months and then shut the whole thing down. <laughs> and we have a massive amount of cars just sitting in the inventory being sold. Yeah, let's go with 40, maybe? Yeah, let's do 40 workers. That should be good. Uh, done. And... Then, uh, assembly, um, southwest, yes, uh, how do I get that? Mega menu, yes, I'll always go to the mega menu. Uh, we need to assign a model, and that shall be the mule, because it's so good. And this one is also producing the mule. And then we have one which produces the shitty whale. Yeah, there we go. And now, 40 divided by 3, oh, perfect choice, Kill Rob. You're almost making a, uh, a dividable number. So we assign all the workers and then we're done here. And if I see this correctly, we still need to assign a price to our halberd, our new sports car. Yes, okay, let's, let's go ahead and do this. How about 1,000? Alright, I think this is all set up, and the only way I can really check, I think, is to take a look if they are actually selling in Northern Europe. And um, how do I check this? Detail? Detail. Yeah. Yes, they are all selling. Okay. Oh, uh, exit. Um, I think that's it for now, and let's uh, advance a month and see how it goes. They shall learn to love my cars. Oh, new look. Yes. Latest innovation, the van, the, sh the shitty whale. <laughs> whale. Uh, and up, oh, you've gained 97,000. What? That's a lot. What is, where's this money coming from? We gotta check this model, model, report by model. And we have, oh yes, look, the whale, it's selling brilliantly. But it doesn't seem to be sold anywhere but uh, in northeastern US? That is a little strange. And why is it delivered there? Mm. Did we choose that as the first option? Oh, I don't even know. The halberd? It's not being produced. Okay. Oh, brilliant. And. Oh. Uh, we sold two cars. And this is. What? Why is the tick. Is this tick box? Let's see, there's one, two, three, one, two, three. 
So this is only in the southwest we are selling them currently. That's not good. That's not good. So I fucked it up once again. All right, I'm fixing it right now. I have to go through here and set the distribution to all these places. Maybe we should put this factory to actual use and build the Hellbot in here. That might make sense, don't you think? Uh, yeah, let's let's go ahead and do this. So Hellbot, uh, Hellbot. Then we also use all the the lines, the available ones. That's best for efficiency, even though that's factory level one. So, yeah, not really that good of efficiency. So we hire another 25 workers, then we should have enough. Yes, enough. Okay, now that everything is assigned in our new factory, we should be able to sell something. Now let's go ahead and sell something. Where are all the profits? Uh, liquid core in most new cars. Okay. So now it has ticked over and we everyone either has researched them or um, they unlocked automatically. That is not quite clear to me what is happening there. A whole new look. Wow. A pickup truck. Yes. Yes, it's amazing. Um, will it, there be a market for it? No, no, probably not. And take a look here. We, we are having 112 people on suspension and there's nothing. Absolutely nothing coming there. <gasps> but look, we have a new engine. Uh, a boxer? Or, no, well, a post it doesn't mean boxer. Uh, probably it's a shitty flat design. So, yes, rough, rough, rough. But um, uh, that sounds like a sports car engine. The first one. Maybe we should update our, our sports car, the Hellbird. And also, I just do need more personnel. Uh, 22, yes. Hire more, more technicians. And now let's see what we are selling. The weight. What? There is demand for it. Look at it. There's just no demand in uh, in Southwest US, but everywhere else they are kind of selling. We only built ten, but uh, so the Hellbird, uh, the, the Hellbird has some problems. We're not selling. Ah, I have to, uh, I have to adjust that for the various models. Uh, this one and the mule as well. Oh no, I have to do that for every model. Oh no. Oh, this game. This game, the UI. Ah, yes, it was super difficult back in the day, but then again, it's really, really simple, or it should be, uh, says the automation developer who takes like uh, three times as much time as they anticipate. Yes, uh, um, exactly. So, um, 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 um. let's uh, fix this issue. All right, there seem to be quite a few fixes required. Uh, plenty of our normal cars also not selling in various regions. Oh, th yeah, that's, that's all not good. Uh, let's see uh, if we get a sales spike once this is all fixed up. I mean, when I see this shit of the UI, I'm very happy that they didn't have many regions in the game. <laughs> it would be absolutely terrible if they had like 100 different regions and you're clicking through here assigning your regions like no please please make it stop now <laughs> okay now everything is assigned to everything and we should see a massive gargantuan sales spike because of it uh hopefully that's that's the plan um end the month and see if the plan works Automation Inc. financially, so yes, sales spike, I think it is. Their own profit records are be- <gasps> What? <laughs> yeah, that worked. That worked out just fine. Maybe I should open another office, uh, like, here. It makes more clicking possible, but, uh, or required. But then again, why not? Open office two, yeah, let's let's open up a few more offices in Europe as well, like this. Update these regions. Okay, I think I'm finally done setting all that up. And now the question is, should we, uh, let's, let's try to update the helmet with some, uh, some cooling magic. 
Ah, there it is. Okay. Uh, 88.4. Ah, yeah, cooling magic and the new engine. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We do need to make a new one here. The Mark... Um, Mark II. Yes. Parts? Let's see. Our new super powerful engine. Ha. What? Opposed, yes. Um, opposed to what? This looks like a, a straight four still. Um, so is is this actually a better stainless suspension? Liquid cooled. Yes, we have liquid cooled. Do we have any brake? No, still not. Arg. Um, do we have any new luxuries? Nope. Uh, do we have any new safety? Uh, nope. Okay. Right. So that's it then. That's the Mark II. Um, let's get back to the body. And it's a new car. Yes, a post, a post, and. Mmm, we need to uh, make the car. Albert Mark II. Yes. And now this one will be amazing. Let's take a look. Maybe it gets a top speed faster than 22 miles per hour, which is our standard for every car. Uh, acceleration is just as shit, it seems. Oh, 23.88! Wow, that's that's so much faster. One one kilometer, and, uh, one mile per hour. Wow. And it's absolute trash in everything. Let's see how bad the fuel economy is, though. It's super economical. It's the most economical sports car ever. Wow. Wow, it got... Oh, oh it's shit. Uh... Why is it so shit now? Or was the old one also so shit? I can't even remember. Maybe we need to change things around a little. Maybe they don't like the engine. Let's try out the old engine and see if that one actually scores better. So, 6758. Okay, 6758. Oh, and now it's slower. It's much slower now. Oh, shit. Okay, so much slower. It's uh, more than one mile per hour slower. Uh, that, that's not a sports car, guys. That's just bad. But it scores slightly higher. Ah, oh, this game, it makes so much sense. Mm, not. Ah, uh, the pleasure of designing cars in Detroit. Arbitrary clicking because there's no feedback on what parts are good for what. This makes it actually worse than Game Dev Tycoon, and that's saying something. <laughs> but then again, Game, Ge Game Dev Tycoon had how many more years? Like 15 years of uh, extra experience in game design? Well, they should have. So the old Halberd had a rating of 88.44, so I don't think we're going to replace that one. We just scrapped the new one. Oh, wow. The Vela Mark IV is selling crazy good amounts. I really have to up its production a little bit. And the Whale is selling. Who would have thought that? It's selling out all 10 models. I think we need to update the factory. Oh, that's crazy. Huh. Look at that. All right, we're already working with 30 people on uh, four lines of this, and that's not enough. So it seems like it's time to invest some money into the factory. Yeah, let's upgrade that one. Finally, we have some something to spend cash on. I know, even though we need to save a little bit for World War One, you never know what happens there. It just costs 81k. That's not much. Could update it two levels even if we wanted to easy but nah not for now we don't want to have massive overproduction either oh yes 1.4 million in the bank that's looking good and now we shall speed through to uh, World War one or until we unlock some awesome new tech maybe um what why I mean, I've put so much research into that, and now everyone gets the drum brakes for free. What kind of shit is that? This doesn't make any sense, game! How is... how... how did that pass the testing team, which probably was one person? Uh, this is also weird. 
So what's going on here now? Research new parts, yes. Uh, why is the drum break all of a sudden available to everyone? Even though I had 81 people working on them. That does make zero sense. Um, now let's check the sub-level system tech. Uh, where do we have that? There we go. Oh, and they already had it before me. Hello? <laughs> Oh, okay, this... I, I really have no clue what's going on here. Maybe some of you guys know what's happening. And uh, I, I don't know what to change. I mean, what to do better than this. Why do my competitors, even though I have like 80 engineers working on stuff, get things earlier than me? Do they have like 200 engineers working on it? I have no clue. Alright, our profits are shrinking every single month. Oh, that tells me that I really need to update some things. Uh, what does my part research say? We have nothing new. Okay. It uh, doesn't surprise me at all. Yeah, no, we have something new. We got the leaf springs. Oh, shit. Oh, yes. Okay. We have the ultimate suspension now. Um, uh, and I think we have to do uh, redo our entire lineup for the next episode before World War One. We shall have a hoard of cash saved up, and so that we just can sit out the four years, if need be. And uh, yeah, let me just assign those to something uh, irrelevant, like uh, cooling. No, more brakes. Oh, oh, more more engines. We want to make super sports cars. And now with that done, I think it is time to wrap up this episode. And in the next one, we shall test out our new tech and see if <laughs> stupid animations are changing for our tests. If, if we have more grip in the corner and if we have slightly better brake distance. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed and see you next time.